Zimbabwe is appreciative of its development partners and creditors for supporting the debt and arrear settlement process, and it anticipates exponential economic growth if debts are rescheduled or written off. Zimbabwe's economy is already expanding at a rate of roughly 5% annually, mostly due to the mining and agricultural industries. President Unangogwa said in an interview with CNBC Africa last week that the Second Republic has pushed the economy on a massive growth trajectory and is likely the fastest growing economy in SADC. Despite the severe sanctions imposed by the West 23 years ago, he was speaking during his visit to Egypt for the annual meetings of the African Development Bank AFDB. Zimbabwe has not gotten any external credit throughout the past 23 years despite sanctions. He claimed, Our economy and currency both crashed during the process, as you are aware, but since the establishment of the Second Republic, we have recovered from the collapse and our economy is currently on a growth track. While global financial institutions had written off or rescheduled the loans of other African nations, President Nkogwa claimed that Zimbabwe had not been able to take advantage of these arrangements and continued to suffer the effects of sanctions. Because we never obtained any international financing, we felt there must be a way to cope with this growing debt, as it just kept accumulating. This debt, which dates back in time, is still increasing. We have developed a method where the president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Ekonomia Dezena, has agreed to it along with the great son of Africa. Former Mozambique president Joaquim Chesano, and we have started making symbolic payments to clear the debt under the Second Republic. We are pleased that debt settlement and arrears removal have been favorably received in both Europe and America. They had the opportunity to visit America, and when they did, they were welcomed and the reception was overwhelmingly good, the president stated. Zimbabwe has had five structured conversation platform meetings so far in an effort to work with its creditors and development partners to resolve its debt and arrears problem. Zimbabwe owes a total of $17.5 billion in debt, but President Mnengogwa declared that world collaboration is with us after the debt and arrears resolution process got underway. He stated that while the debt and arrears process is ongoing, the government is still looking into measures to grow the economy. Everyone can see that Zimbabwe is expanding. You may be aware that during the last three years, the sex GDP has grown by almost 5% annually. Everyone acknowledges that we are developing more quickly thanks to sanctions, thus it is imperative that we rejoin the Committee of Nations and cooperate. He said that the mining industry's output increased from $2 to $7 billion in 2017 to over $6 billion last year. By the end of this year, Zimbabwe wants to make the mining industry a $12 billion industry. We are growing without technology, without money, and without the necessary skills. We'll be hired because lithium is rising. Zimbabwe is accessible for trade, but not for mistreatment. Investors will come to Zimbabwe knowing that we are the proprietors of the resources and that these resources have to benefit our people, he added. We have grown under sanctions, which were supposed to kill us. According to President Mnangogwa, Zimbabwe has implemented a series of economic reforms aimed at providing comfort to foreign investors. He promised that more will be done to make Zimbabwe more competitive. To make it easier to conduct business, infrastructure like highways and airports will also be modernized. In the meantime, Mnangogwa's administration has reversed earlier statements that the election date will be announced yesterday leaving Zimbabweans in the dark as they wait for important information regarding the timetable of approaching elections. The election proclamation will be published in due course. According to presidential spokesperson George Koremba, after local media indicated that the president would declare the election date on Monday as the electoral process advances. There are considerable uncertainties regarding when and under what circumstances Zimbabweans will cast ballots as a result of the abrupt switch from promising an impending declaration to an undefined future pronouncement. Karemba did not provide any details regarding the new anticipated timing or a clear justification for the last-minute delay. The opposition CCC was still completing nominations while the ruling ZNPF party had already finished choosing its candidates through primaries. Based on earlier indications from the president's administration, both parties seemed to be preparing for elections in the upcoming months. Yet after raising Zimbabweans' hopes with rumors of a Monday declaration, President Umnangogwa has yet to give a specific schedule for declaring the election date, which has added more uncertainty to the electoral process. 
Zimbabweans are now eagerly awaiting more explanations from their leaders in an effort to restore their faith in the openness and reliability of the democratic process. Oh.